Hi everyone, so in this video, we're going to talk about something extremely important that is how do you master CS fundamentals for placements? If you're a fresher or a college student and you're going for placements, then there's a good chance that you'll come across CS fundamental concept questions in your interviews. Whether you're going for on campus or off campus, it doesn't matter because majority of the companies, product based companies, high paying companies, and even service based companies are going to grill you on CS fundamental concept questions. And if you're not able to answer there, then that can lead to your rejection. So CS fundamentals is something that you must give proper attention to. And I don't think this is talked about enough because people talk about DSA, people talk about development, but people don't talk enough about CS fundamentals. But this is equally important, especially if you're a fresher, a new grad or even a college student who are just about to enter your placement. So it is essential that you give this proper amount of time and attention. So in this video, we're going to talk about the important topics in CS fundamentals. I'm going to tell you where you can learn them from. I'm going to tell you how to learn them, what is the right way to learn them quickly. And the best part, I'm going to tell you before the interviews, how do you prepare specifically for the interviews? So if you have your interview next week or three days after, how do you prepare for that right now as quick as possible? Okay, so everything about CS Fundamentals is going to be within the video. So make sure that you have some patience, sit back, relax and watch the complete video. All right. So before we go into the further part of the video, let me tell you that CS Fundamentals has different division, of course. You have different subjects. You have things like OOP, operating system, computer networks, and DBMS. So of course, there's a different priority, even though people say all are important, all are important. But again, it depends company to company. It depends which role you're going for. So there are a lot of factors to this. But if you're going for a general software developer role, then this is the order of priority that I want you to take. I want you to learn everything. I don't want you to skip anything. But this is the order of priority I want you to take. See. The highest priority goes to OOP, according to me, because if you go for any company's interview, they are going to ask you OOP and their four pillars. OK, because, of course, most of the languages that we're using right now in industry level on an industrial level, they are object oriented. So OOP is something that you absolutely must know as a software engineer, even if it is not too much in depth, at least at a good level, at least at the base level, you absolutely must know it. Let's get real for a moment. The job market is changing. And if your resume is not having real world projects with AI in it, then it is already getting filtered out. So is your current plan enough to beat the competition and land your dream job as a data analyst or a data scientist in your dream company? If not, then in turn, Shala's data science placement course with AI can surely help you out. This is going to be a six months extensive training with live classes and on-demand sessions in which you will be learning everything that is needed by you to crack the top companies as a data analyst or a data scientist, along with which you'll be learning the latest AI tools, which will give you an edge because as you already know, almost every company are now demanding AI skills. And on top of this, this is going to be a project-based learning. So you're going to be building real world industry grade projects like customer sentiment analysis or social media branding analytics and many, many more. And along with the course, you will be getting industry recognized certificates by Intern Shala and NSDC Skills India that you can add to your resume to increase its value and to make yourself stand out. And you're going to get a placement bootcamp in which they'll be teaching you everything about how to clear the interviews. You're going to get training on soft skills on how to make the right resume. You'll be having AI driven mock interviews. You'll have data science interview simulations. And on top of this, you'll have access to the top brands and top companies hiring exclusively on intern Shala. So you'll be getting all of this as part of the course, which can land your dream job as a data analyst or a data scientist. Many learners, thousands of learners have used intern Shala to get to their dream job. And you can as well. I've given a link in the description box. You can use that. Check it out. And now let's get back to the video. OK, so OP is priority number one. After OP, you have DBMS. So again, DBMS is extremely important, especially if you're going for a backend role. If you're a backend developer, if you're an aspiring backend developer, there's no way that they will not expect you to know DBMS. So DBMS is again very important, but it's more important if you're specifically targeting backend roles. After that, you have operating system. So even though operating systems may not be of direct use in the work that you do in these companies, but of course, the concepts of OS are going to be very important. Okay. So again, OS is also very important, but it depends company to company. There are companies that ask a lot of OS and there are companies that don't ask OS. And then at last we have computer networks. Why did I keep CN at last? Because this is very specific to company. If you're going for Cisco, if you're going for Istra networks, if you're going for Palo Alto networks, if you're going for VMware, if you're going specifically for companies that dabble with networking, 
that are sort of networking companies or work in networking then 110% they are going to ask you computer networks but for general companies there's very less chance that they will ask you cn question okay so this is the order of priority but again everything is very dependable on the company that you're going for again we're going to talk about this more in the last part of the video that is preparing for the interviews all right now we know the subjects let's talk about how do you prepare for it and what are the important topics let's start with op itself because we gave it the highest priority okay so first of all for the most important topics i'll do two things first i'll give you guys a list of important topics in the description box so these are the most commonly asked topics in the interview so you can take a look at that from there but apart from that what i want you to do is whatever subject you're going for let's say op for example because we're talking about it go on google just type oop geeks for geeks last minute notes you'll get to a page because geeks for geeks has last minute notes on pretty much all of their cs fundamental concepts all of the cs fundamental concepts so you go to that page and there you will come across a lot of topics you'll have the four pillars of op you'll have divisions and all those four pillars you'll have different things in all those pillars so you'll have all of those concepts okay these are the topics that you need to learn so either you can get it from gfg or you can get it down there from the description box it doesn't matter it's pretty much the same thing but once you get the topics that are important to learn what do you do next next you're going to go on youtube and you're going to start learning see op is something that has both theory and code mixed but first you have theory you need to master the theory of op so here are the resources that i suggest you for master op the number one resource for mastering object oriented programming is telesco so you can go on telesco channel and by the way all of the resources along with the important topics are going to be in the description box so you don't need to you don't need to take notes or anything okay so you just go to telesco and you start watching the op playlist he has a playlist on op and there you'll get to learn everything okay op you don't need to go too much in depth if you already are using object oriented programming language like java most of the things you'll already know but at least the four basic pillars the four pillars and knowing them with a real life examples this is very important i recently took a mock interview and i asked the guy to explain the four pillars of object oriented programming and he just gave a very bookish definition of it so that is something that is not going to impress your interviewer they will think you just have mugged up everything to show your understanding you have to explain everything in op with a example with a real world example for example abstraction you can explain with the with the breaking example that you use the break you don't know what is behind it in the implementation but you know that it's working and you know what work it will do like something like that so i'm digressing a lot here i know but this is the way that i want you to study for it okay so op is the simplest of them all pretty much that's why i kept it in first also obviously it is the highest priority also but it is the simplest of them all all you need to do is go on youtube watch videos according to the topics that i've mentioned that are there in the description box or that are there in the last minute notes watch videos and make notes now this is something very important for all of the subjects make notes what i'm going to ask you to do is just have one notebook you know there's a notebook which has four division buy a notebook like that and make notes one side for os one side for cn one side for dbms one side for op okay so make notes of whatever videos you're watching these are the notes that will help you before the interview because before the interviews you won't have enough time to go through all of the videos okay so that's all you need to do for op of course you have the most important topics given in the description box go to youtube start watching them once you watch them then of course you have a little bit of code if you're coding in java whatever language you're coding in just try to implement it it's not that difficult and most probably you'll not be asked to code now there's one more thing here which is kind of new so along with op now you have low level design as well which was previously not the case but right now a lot of companies are asking for low level design they may not ask you in basically on campus placements but off campus placements there is a good chance if you go for a high paying company they'll ask you lld so now along with op you have lld as well so in lld you have basic things you have some solid principles you have some design principles you have all of these things that i want you to have a basic idea of so for this the best channel is concept and coding so he has a great playlist on lld basically i'll give a link to that as well you can give it a watch but you don't need to go too much deep into it the first 15 to 17 videos is what i will suggest for you to watch from his playlist okay by the time you watch the first 15 or 17 videos you'll have a good idea about what lld is and most probably you'll not face this but op 110% you are going to face okay now that op is done let's go to our next part that is dbms now dbms is pretty much the most complex out of these cs fundamentals is what i feel because you have again a mix of both you have pretty much all of the theoretical things 
and you have SQL, which is something that scares a lot of people, especially the complex things like joins and you have, you know, sub queries of all of those things, right? So it scares a lot of people, I know, but it is very important if you're going for a backend role or even if you're going for a full stack developer role, you can be expected to do SQL queries, right? So again, for DBMS, the most important topics, you can do either of two things. You can go to the last net notes of Geeks or Geeks, or you can have a look at the description box. Find the most important topics. For theory, this is what you need to do. You can just go on YouTube and start watching videos. For DBMS, the best videos are there by Gate Smashers. Gate Smashers is pretty much the king of CS fundamentals, especially for OS, DBMS, and even CM, some of the videos. But for DBMS and OP, Gate Smashers is pretty much the king. We all have watched his videos to pass our CS exams, right? Because before the exam, I remember everyone used to watch his videos. So for theoretical knowledge, you can watch Gate Smashers videos. And then there's a few more channels also. I'm not remembering the name, but I'll give you the resource in the description box. You can use them to learn the theoretical things. Now, more than theoretical things, what I feel is more important is SQL. And again, SQL is something that becomes very complex at a difficult level with joins and all of these, all of those things. Once you have a you know, complex query, it becomes very difficult to wrap your head around it. So for doing SQL, for learning SQL, I have the best resources for you. For learning, you have w3schools.com, the best resource for SQL, because they have their own servers that you can, you know, just use and run different queries to check how it's going. So you can use w3schools for practice. Now for questions and for practicing interview questions, you have sqlpractice.com. This is a great website. They have interview questions. Again, they have the server, you can run and then you can see whether your output is matching the answer or not. It's like a coding problem. It's like lead code for SQL. Okay. So it's a great website. You can practice there. Again, all of the resources are going to be in the description box. So, so learn the most important topics, practice SQL well, and your DVMS is going to be pretty much done for. There's one more thing that I'll suggest to you. And this is especially if you're going for a backend role, make sure that you know how to connect your application to the database. Okay, so this is not a part of CS Fundamental, but just some extra advice from me to you. Because if you're going for a backend role, not only they're going to ask you about DBMS, they're going to ask you the connection between your databases and your application. How do you connect? For example, if you're using Spring, Spring Boot, or even Pure Java, how does the JDBC happen? All of these things, right? So make sure that you prepare for that as well. All right, now that we've passed OP and we've passed DBMS, now we come into operating systems. So again, like I said, operating systems is something that is very important depending on the company you're going for. From the top of my head, VMware is a company that will ask you a lot of operating system questions. So again, this is something that you must focus on. But operating system is not that much important, but don't skip it. But it is not that much important compared to the previous two subjects. Now, for operating systems, you have a lot of theory. You have majority theory only, and then you have very little implementation. Most of it is theoretical thing. Unless you're going for a company that is very much into OS, they'll, they're not going to ask you the implementation of it. Okay. So operating system is pretty much all about theory. You're going to have to spend some time. You're going to have to watch some videos and you're going to have to take a lot of notes for operating system. So again, the important topics there in the description box or on Geeks for Geek Class Net Notes, you can pretty much, you know, go there and take the important research, take the important topics. Once you know the important topics, again, the same thing like DBMS, go on YouTube, Go on Gate Smashes playlist and start watching the videos. Now, there are a few things that are very important here in OS. Like you have uh, algorithms, you have some scheduling algorithms, you have deadlock, you have a uh, round table algorithm, you have a lot of algorithms. Most of them I don't even remember because I learned them way back, right? But all of these are interesting. But again, you're not, you're not going to be doing implementations of it. So it's more on a theoretical level or a practical level, pseudocode level, so to speak, right? So you can learn all of them. It is interesting, even though there's a lot of theory, the algorithms part of it, the scheduling part of it, the deadlock part of it, all of these things are pretty interesting, right? So Gate Smashes has great videos on all of those things. Whatever topics are there in the description box, go to Gate Smashes videos and start watching it, okay? This is something that you can easily do, but again, it's gonna take a lot of time to understand everything because most of it is just theoretical things that you have to understand. Okay, so OS is not going to hurt you that much. But it's going to take a bit of time, but it's not going to be that much difficult to do. After OS, you have computer networks. Computer networks, again, is not that important unless you're going for a company that is specifically into networking, like I already told you. So you have companies like Cisco and all. Cisco is the first thing that comes to mind because they have a heavy pay. They have 27 to 30 LPA plus for a fresher. And of course, you'll have CN questions there. So again, for CN, most important topics are in the description box. 
again cn is just a bunch of theory you have of course you have topics you have uh, you know layers of osi you have subnetting you have all these things so you can learn all of them so again you have gate smashes and there's other resources for cn as well so apart from gate smashes there's some good videos from other channels as well for computer network so i'll give you the resources you can watch that and again make notes do not forget to make notes guys these are the notes that are going to help you in your placements okay see if you have notes from your classes well and good but if you don't you have to make your own notes that are there from your own understanding because before the interview you won't have enough time to sit and you know go through all of the videos all over again okay so now we're done with all of the preparation you have your notes ready now you're going for the interview what are you going to do see the first thing that i want to tell you is i want to take some of the steam off you because let me tell you this very quickly the interviewer is very skilled the interviewer is very skilled in development very skilled in dsa but the interviewer does not know a lot of cs fundamentals again unless it is something that they are very passionate about because cs fundamentals is not something that we are working on on a daily basis development you'll be a master of dsa you'll be a master of he or she whoever is taking your interview but cs fundamentals a lot of the interviews that i have seen they themselves do not know cs fundamentals that well so this is what they do they go on google they search top interview questions for each of the topics and these are the questions that they ask you so these are the questions that you need to learn go on google first of all the first thing that you need to so even before this the first thing you need to search is the company you're going for interview experience what your company you're going for search interview experience of that company and just note is this company asking os is this company asking cn is this company asking dbms from there you will get to know what to focus on focus on all four ideally but you'll get to know what the company focuses more on now that you know how do you prepare os how do you prepare cn how do you prepare dbms this is what you do go on google search top 100 os interview questions top 50 dbms interview questions top 20 sql interview questions that's it once you do that i guarantee you there's a 90% chance you'll get the same questions in the interview because the interviewer himself or herself are looking at the same thing and then coming and asking you okay so because of course the interviewer is not in touch with cs fundamental topics they're working on different tech stack they're talented in different things not cs fundamental this is specifically something that you have to ask more for college grads fresh grads or you know college students basically so go through an interview questions go through your notes and do proper research about the company this is very important because a lot of companies ask only specific thing okay if you prepare everything it's going to take more of your time so you have to be careful and you have to know what the company focuses more on okay but the last thing the end game is just searching top 50 top 100 top xyz interview questions that alone is going to make sure that you are you know pretty much in a position to crack questions from almost 95 to 90 to 95% of the companies right but it is essential that you understand those things that's why the idea of learning and making notes is there but for knowing what the interview questions are going to be you just need to google it so it will be like you're already prepared you know what the interviewer is going to ask you you're already prepared for it okay so that's pretty much it the entire list of important topics along with the resources are in the description box i hope you enjoyed the video before this i made a video about java development make sure you give that video a watch as well so i'll be bringing you guys a lot more videos about all of the things important for placements if there are any videos you want me to make if there are any topics you want me to make a video on you can let me know as well so yeah that's pretty much it resources everything is in the description box make sure that you subscribed and watch out for more videos